Memorial Weekend at the Jersey Shore. The locker room with Billy Schwein and Scotty McKay on 97.3 ESPN and the 97.3 ESPN mobile app. Uh, Scooter, it's, it's that, you know, we're moving, we're getting closer to summer. Summer, yeah, you're right. It's start, I like that the weather's breaking, which is nice. The unofficial you know? part of the summer. It's uh, It doesn't feel like it, though, does it? No. All right, listen, Scooter, we missed this guy, and, and I had to get him on because I dissed him. So oh, I, my I, God. I, said, I said to you, when I, I wrote, like, last, couple, well, last week, we did my, started my sixth year at 97.3 ESPN, and I thanked Mike Gill and Mike Rubel and all the guys, and I left out one guy. So let's go to the sports hotline and welcome him in, Pete Thompson. What's up, PT? Hey, it's Pete Thompson. <laughs> <laughs> I'll I'll Pete, that are you for all, you guys in my return are, to Saturday radio. Uh, <laughs> hey, are you are you okay, Pete? Yeah, I'm fine. Thanks. I appreciate you. Sure? You yeah. Well, you well, know, well, after idea. after Billy just left you hang out to dry, I'm so I thought you'd be <laughs> hurting still, you know? I mean, I think right. he included Joe Mitchell, and Joe Mitchell doesn't work there anymore. But hey, yeah. that's all right. When you're behind that guy, you know. There were wow. two people Scooter, there were two people that I left out of the equation. I can't believe it. Pete Thompson and Brian Hartley, my fantasy football guru. That's the toughest thing about doing those things is thanking everybody because you're going to miss somebody. But well, it's, it's not like yeah, you can miss Pete. Pete Thompson, Scooter, I got to tell you. When I first got into radio, I knew, I knew absolutely nothing about it. Is that a correct statement, Pete? Uh, pretty fair. I mean, you knew how to talk. You had that down. Well, I can not talk. Me. But uh, the, the, intri- the, you know, the inner workings of – of uh, being a journalist per se, or you know, covering a team and going to the ballpark, and uh, you know, I made it one day. <laughs> I made a mistake, but I knew nothing about the uh, the protocol. I called Pete Thompson up, and I said, "Oh, Pete, you know, I did this. I I I got my picture taken with Jimmy Rollins, and I got I got kicked out of the the uh, the uh, press room. Took out my credential, taken away from me. What did I do anyway?" Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> and, of course, I remember him looking way nicer than a sports writer because he had, you know, a shirt and jacket on, and like a sport coat on and looked professional. I thought, oh, this guy, you know, and he, he ran up and was happy to meet me. And then later on, he's, you know, getting dragged out by his hair and <laughs> calling me and, right. you know, what do I do? What do I do? I just told him, you know, in hockey terms. Spend your time in the penalty box, and then hopefully someday they'll let you back in. Well, listen, he was looking professional. Professional wasn't anything in the rest of the statement, though, right? <laughs> yeah, he looked yeah. professional. That's right. All right, he so Pete, I want to publicly thank you on the airways for for you know being like a guide, and and I got to tell you, one of the you're one of the great guys in in radio because you you know this this business can be pretty funny. There's a lot of egos. And, and you're not you were you were always nice, kind, and one thing you were always helpful. You took the time to uh, steer me in the right direction, and I want to thank you publicly for that. Thanks, Billy. I appreciate it. You know, I'm, there's not a lot of false pretenses about me. I'm pretty straightforward. What you hear is what you get, and you know, I I, I feel there's an obligation as somebody that's done it for a while to show those who haven't how to do it. So uh, if I did any part to at least help you get back uh, covering the sports you want to cover or help you out, I'm happy to do it. All right, now, PT, we, Scotty McKay and I talked about it during the week. We can't tell you how much we miss coming in in the crossover and, and, and relieving you on Saturday mornings. Yeah, yeah, and the mood lighting. You know, you always were wondering what, if Hunter and I were up to some hanky-panky or something like that because, you know, at, at 8 in the morning, you know, uh, let's put it this way. Okay. Here's how my life has changed pandemic. I went to bed this morning at about four thirty, thinking, God, if this was a normal Saturday back in the day, I'd be getting up at five, just like I normally would get up at five for school. And instead I'm going to bed at five. Cause I binge watched one too many episodes. Of Ozark. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, Jesus. <laughs> yeah. We were always wondering when we would come into the studio, it, it would be, it'd be like, it was, the lights, the were, lights were dimmed down. There, I thought there were some candles I saw once in a while. I don't we know what you and Hunter were doing. Music. We heard some romantic right. music, right, Scooter? Right. I wasn't sure what was going on. 
<laughs> we just but, I, uh, I don't I didn't like it that bright. I don't think Hunter complained because it helped him go to sleep a little bit. <laughs> yeah, right, right. Or maybe that was my content. All right, we got a Twitter poll question up today. We have our Housemaster Home Inspection Twitter poll question today. Pete, I'd like you to chime in. And if you have anybody, I know you're a wealth of knowledge, sports knowledge. I know that if you have a, another bust bigger than the ones we have up here, you're going to say it. So, but right now, our Twitter poll question at Locker Room 973, the Housemaster Home Inspection Twitter poll question Who is the biggest draft bust in Philadelphia sports history? And of course, we have Danny Watkins and the people of. Uh, uh, participated he's at 48 percent the phillies jeff jackson the flyers darren rumble they're both tied at six and then of course the 76 is sean bradley at 40 percent so right now danny watkins has it at 48 sean bradley at 40 pete what do you say well i like that you threw jeff jackson in there i think i texted you that the other night because he was the high school player out of chicago i mean the kid was number four overall you Five know uh, player. Yeah, he was a he was a baseball player for the Phillies. I mean, Kevin Allen is a name most Eagles fans remember because the guy That's was drafted ninth overall and uh, ended up in jail. You know, from from the ninth draft pick to jail and spent two years in jail. That's. That's got to be considered a bust. I think was, he, he was put in jail in Margate, too, wasn't he? Yeah, he was on the beach in Margate when that happened. I think he, he yeah. was... Uh, he only he, lasted one year before getting cut. Sexual assault on the beach in Margate. Yes. That is correct. Yeah, Dan, I mean, look, Danny's heart was never in it. Danny was a great guy, personally. Gil did a show with him. I mean, I, I, Danny was an outstanding human being out of British Columbia, too. I mean, it's amazing that... You know, he didn't fall in love with hockey instead of football, but all he really fell in love with was firefighting. He wanted to be a firefighter, and that's what he ended up doing. You know, and there was some. And they drafted him at 26 years of age. Yes. Right. Yeah. I mean, and that was supposed to be a plus at the time. Like, listen, this guy's older. He, he, you know, went to Baylor and figured out how to play offensive line. You're really getting a treasure here. You're not getting an unpolished. Well, yeah, it was just as much an unpolished diamond as everything else. If they had lit the field on fire, he'd have been great. We're talking with yeah. Pete Thompson of the Pete Thompson Show. Of course, you can catch uh, Pete, uh, P- Pandemic Pete, and, uh, with with the <laughs> MGPT Top Five and Five. I don't. I love that segment. You guys do a great job. My favorite one was it was uh, which was your crush. Uh, I was listening that day. Who was your your crush? Your all time crush growing up with sitcoms, right? Yeah, you now Steve Gill doesn't remember Missy Gold from Benson, but that that was definitely on my list. Wow, Benson! You guys, Robert, yeah. Robert Guillaume or whatever his name was. That's correct. Yeah. How about that? All right, Pete. My my, I just want to let you know my favorite is Pamela Anderson and Farrah Fawcett. Oh, uh, everybody had that Farrah Fawcett poster. My brother still has right. a, a <laughs> copy of it. <laughs> All right, Pete, we also want to bring up the fact that sports is starting to show a little sign of life. I equated it to like a flower at time, at time uh, you know, they, they speed up the film, time lapse. Right? Yeah. We see a flower starting to like like slowly open itself up and, you know, open up. That's, what, that's how sports is right now, right? Hey, before we move on to how sports is, is that it for the list? Because I had 20 names ready for this GD list. And you yeah, no, we, we're just going to give you the short. You're going to give us the short version today. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Pete, you got to be, go? be pretty excited about the Shoprite Classic, rescheduled for October. I'm thrilled that they're going to play it. You know, I mean, uh, even when they had moved the dates to the end of July slash early August, uh, there was some question as to you know how things were going to go. So, and and my thought of it is this. Uh, you know, I, I don't remember the greenheads ever being a problem in October. You know, so yeah. that's always the number one thing to players. That and the the bumpiness if the greens are smooth enough. Well, I think both things are going to be pristine. I think the greens are going to be outstanding, and I think you're not going to have to worry about greenheads. So could this I'm be all a permanent it. move? Uh, no, I don't think so at all. But I, I mean, it, it's a move of opportunity because the LPGA had to cancel. I think it was the Meyer Classic that was the tournament that moved and those dates opened up and and the way it works out too it's going to be you know there's been some years where the you know, shop right lpga always draws a great field but there's been some years where one or two key players have been missing in this case you're going to get the best field possible because it's the week before a major players are going to want to play and get sharp before they go into a major so uh, that's a plus as well 
All right, PT. Well, listen, I wish we had more time to spend with you, but I wanted to have you on so that we could publicly uh, thank you for all the uh, g help and guidance that you, uh, you have given me over the years. All right. Well, I appreciate that. And this is going to take 10 to 15 seconds. Flyers, Steve Smith, Patrick Gillian, Glenn Seabrook, Kevin Marshall, Yoni Pitkinen. Sixers, Sean Bradley, Larry Hughes, Leon Wood, Christian Belp, Sharon Wright. Phillies, we said Jeff Jackson, Chad McConnell, Bruce Ruffin, Gavin Floyd, Reggie Taylor, and Eagles, Kevin Allen, Danny Watkins, John Harris, Bernard Williams, Jerome McDougal, Freddie Mitchell. There you go. All right, wow. PT, we really appreciate it. Thank you so much. And we'll catch you with the MGPT Top 5 at 5 on the Sports Batch with Mike Gill Monday through Friday. All right, guys. Take care. Good talking to you. See you, All Pete. right. There's PT hey, Scooter. Yeah, awesome. So yeah, we missed, it, we missed a lot of names. Probably. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's weird. Not Well, we're not going to the studio at all, but it's weird not going in there with, with you know, following Pete every day and him uh, doing the crossover. We have fun doing that. Yeah, absolutely. Right. He always, you know, opens it up for you to get in there and say something stupid. <laughs> All right, the first hour of the locker was powered by Surety Title. Surety provides comprehensive title insurance protection and professional settlement services for home buyers and sellers, real estate agents, brokers, lenders, home builders, and developers, and attorneys to facilitate real estate purchases, construction, and refinances. Surety is an industry-wide leader with a team of experts that will help you through the entire process, from contract signing to closing, from the shortest center city to every place in between. Surety Title is there for you. 15 office locations in New Jersey and PA. For more information, call our good friend Ron Conklin at 856-988-8900. Just about everybody in our area has heard about the Jersey Man and Philly Man magazine run by ex-Philadelphia tight end Ken Dunnick. But were you aware of their private business network they call the Legacy Club? Every month they hold private events at upscale locations in Philadelphia and South Jersey that attract over 200 top business people. If you have an interest in attending one of these events and see it's a fit for your business, Send an email to Ken at jerseymanmagazine.com or call him at 856-912-4007 for more information. All right, when we return, we'll wrap up the first hour of the locker room on Memorial Weekend on 97.3 ESPN and the 97.3 ESPN mobile app.